Hello and welcome to Pseudocode. When we talk about microservices architecture, there are a lot of complexities and problems that arise when a company is going through the transition of monolith to microservices and also while developing the microservices. There are different patterns to solve such problems. One of the popular and very useful pattern is sidecar pattern. Not only it solves the complex scenarios in terms of microservices architecture, it actually solves multiple problems and can be utilized and implemented in various use cases. Let's try to understand what a sidecar pattern is and how it can help solve problems in the microservices world. Let us start with the definition of sidecar. A sidecar is a component or a module that is deployed alongside the application on the same physical host. The sidecar component is going to share the same physical infrastructure, the same memory and network space along with the application, but it can be deployed separately or it's a separate component. It can be written in the same language as application or it can be written in any other language. The only key thing to note here is the communication between the application and the sidecar should be language agnostic. It shouldn't depend on any language or the framework and the interfaces that the sidecar provides to interact with the application shouldn't be dependent on any technology. If I try to say it in simple terms, any sidecar module that you have implemented and you want to deploy that sidecar along with your application, for the sidecar module, it shouldn't matter whether that application is written in Java or Golang or Python. It should be able to communicate with all those applications irrespective of their tech stack. Now that we have understood what a sidecar is, let's try to look at one of the problems that sidecar can solve. Let's say that you have a legacy application which can only serve HTTP traffic. With the advancement and increasing security, there is a need that your application should get rid of HTTP and should serve traffic over HTTPS. Now, one way to solve this problem is to go and rewrite this whole application. Another way to solve it is use a sidecar. You write a new component that can handle HTTPS request and rip off the security part of it or you know change the protocol, be a proxy and then forward all the traffic to your legacy application. This is how it would look like. In this way, sidecar acts as a proxy to the HTTPS traffic and forwards all of it to your legacy application. In this way, you don't have to rewrite the legacy application and you still solve the problem of moving towards HTTPS. This is one of the major use cases of sidecar. Whenever you want any kind of proxying mechanism, you can use sidecar. One more use case is serving content. Since the sidecar and legacy application are going to share the same file system of the host, there can be some data which is static and that has to be served. You do not need to go through the application logic to do that. You can put a sidecar component which can be responsible for serving this data. Please note that the implementation or the use of sidecar can be done for various use cases. The legacy application use case or serving the static content use case are two such use cases. Let's move on to understand more complicated and efficient implementations. Let's say your application uses a configuration file every time it starts up. It needs some configurations in order to decide how to fire up the application. Now, those configurations are also something which you want to change using an API. You do not want to update the configuration file and make a deployment every time. In order to make this process more efficient, here is what could be done. Since Sidecar is a module which is deployed alongside application and it shares the same resources as I just mentioned, your configuration file can be sitting on the same file system of application and Sidecar. Now, Whenever there are changes happening to the configuration file, the sidecar component can sync or can handle the APIs which need to make change to the configuration file. Let's say that there was a certain configuration which is boolean and I wanted to set its value to true or false. Let's say that configuration is enabled debug. The value is set to false and something went wrong with my application and I want to set that configuration to true from now onwards. The cloud service or the API can set that configuration to true the sidecar can take that configuration and update the configuration file. This way, you do not have to deploy your whole application all over again. Now, once it has updated the configuration file, how would application know that it has to take the new configuration? It depends on the implementation. Either the application might be using any 
kind of watcher which when notices a change in configuration file tries to refire itself or restart itself or when the sidecar makes the change to configuration file it also triggers a sync to the application asking the application to restart in both cases we do not have to redeploy the application and we do not have to go through a hard path the sidecar component did our job for us one very similar use case just like this one is the logs let's say you have multiple application instances deployed and from every instance you need logs and since you have multiple deployments there is a log aggregator tool which is taking all the logs from different instances and making it available in some kind of ui every time if your application has to send those logs to that tool it is going to make an extra network call and if those calls are synchronous it can take up a lot of processing time from application on the other hand if you build a log aggregator as a sidecar inside application what actually can be done is your application can keep writing the logs to the local file system and the log aggregator tool can be reading from that file system periodically and send the logs to the logging tool not only the logging there are many other metrics that a sidecar can be collecting and sending it to observability and monitoring tools this is one of the major use cases of sidecar and it is very widely used not only this some kind of functionalities like log collection or metric collection are required for all the applications in your architecture it wouldn't make sense for you to implement that feature or that collection logic again and again it is very easy to implement that as a sidecar and then attach that sidecar module to different applications remember we talked about the communication between sidecar and application since if you keep that communication agnostic of the language which you should it doesn't matter which application you have you can deploy the sidecar along with your different applications written in different text stack and it will exactly perform the same responsibilities this is also a decomposition or an abstraction pattern where the responsibilities the common responsibilities for applications are abstracted out in a different component and are deployed alongside the application sidecar is a very useful pattern and as you have seen it is used in multiple scenarios however if you have smaller applications which are not that complex or your deployments are not that complex i would not recommend you to over complicate or over engineer it and use this pattern however if you have a complicated microservices architecture there are a lot of services and you have multiple use cases which can help you abstract out those functionalities and deploy them as a sidecar please go for this pattern i have added some resources and links in the description along with some code examples as well please try to go through them if you have any doubts or questions please try to add them in the comments and i will see you in the next video till then take care